Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 18. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about model and its configurations. In the last videos, we had seen the concept of raw queries as well as query builder class. So first of all, let's see about the official website documentation about model. Now if I back to browser, here we have codeigniter.com which is official website. Click on documentation and here in the left hand side, we should see online user guide of codeigniter4. Click on that. Now this is the official documentation. Now inside this documentation, we will find a menu called modeling data. Click on this modeling data. We will have this page and inside this page we have using coordinators model. Click on that. Now here, this is a HTML page called model.html. Now inside this, we have the complete documentation that is how can we create model, how can we use, how can we operate with the database for all the operations like select, insert, update and delete. So this, this guide is very useful to learn the complete guidelines to use models in our Code Igniter for application. Now if I back to editor, this is our site controller what we have so far created. By the help of this controller, we have learned about how can we use raw queries as well as query builder class. One more thing that if suppose we want to work with the models concept, we need to create models file. These model based files we will create inside a folder and the folder is something inside this app directory and we will have a models folder. So when we operate with any models then those model files we will create inside this folder. So right now this folder is totally empty and this is the git repository file which we have downloaded by the help of setup installation. Now what I will do, let's first create one model file inside this with the name of user model.php. Now if you see the naming convention, here I have written called user model.php. If suppose you want to write something user.php then it's okay. As we had seen while defining any controller inside this application, either we can write simply home.php or homecontroller.php. There is no standard naming convention like adding model here and adding controller here. So after creating user model.php, let's declare our model class, declaring PHP tag, class, let's say user model, and it is going to extend, so here it should be class, it is going to extends, and here we have the model. This model we have extend inside our user defined model and this model comes from this namespace called codeigniter backward slash model. Here inside this intelligence panel we can see that this model class what we have extended if we hover on that the model class provides a number of convenient features that makes working with the database table less painful and here it has some features defined. Now simply we have declared our model class. Now the next question is that what are the properties or the variables we will use inside this model class. So for that if we back to again to its documentation scroll down if I create some zoom this is what we had seen all about declaring our model. Go here and now inside this we have some configurations. So this is configuring your model. Now if I scroll down, here we have several member variables. These all are in protected access specifier. So the first variable is something protected, 
table and this is the table name. Inside this users table, we will have it as a primary key. So what I will do, simply copy all the code from here back to editor, pasting it here and inside this code, now let's understand each variable step by step. So the first variable indicates all about the table name. So in our case, if you go to the database, in our case, the table name something is tpl underscore users. So copy the table name, back to editor, pasting it here. And in our table, we have the primary key as the ID. So it's okay, all about the primary key. Next we have return type. So we will discuss about this variable in upcoming videos. Also, we will discuss all about this use soft deletes. Now we have the next field as protected alert fields. Now inside this alert fields, we can see it's an array. Inside this we have name and email. But in our case, what we have the column names called name, email and the phone number. Back to editor. Let's add one more column what we have inside our table. Why we are using inside this array? Because by the help of this model, in the next videos, we will do insert operation. While inserting those values inside our database table, first of all, the model behind the scene checks that those fields are specified here or not. If suppose those fields are not specified means name, email and phone number suppose it's missing then the values will not going to insert in our database field. It means the allowed variable simply allow that we can pass our values inside these fields. Save these changes. Now next we have called user timestamps. As we know that inside our table, we don't have any timestamps called created at and updated at. So it's false. If suppose we have our use timestamps equal to true. So in that way, we should have our column names, let's say created at, updated at and deleted at. So these are the fields are very useful when we have use timestamps equal to true. In the next videos, we will see that what will happen if suppose we have this true value and these fields inside our table. Simply, these fields are useful to keep track of all the records inserted, deleted and updated at what specific time duration. Now next we have called validation rules. By the help of model based concept, also we can implement our validations. Validation rules means what are the rules we have implemented inside each of the input field about our submitting of form data. Also, if suppose a field is required, now if we want to customize the required message of a specific input, we can also supply our custom messages inside this array. This is all about ski validation. So while implement while implementation of our validation, we want we don't want to escape that. So in that way, we need to convert or make it as a true value. So this is all about guys about these member variables. What we have predefined variables defined inside this model. Simply, we have reused inside our custom class called user model. This is not user models, this is user model. And inside this, we have initialized with our some custom values like table name, our primary key, our field names. Now, the next question is that if suppose we have multiple models inside this models folder, now how can we use in our controller? So to use this user model, now if I back to site controller, first of all, we need to load that. So how can we load? Let's say use. We have our controller inside models folder and inside models folder, it's model. 
as we can see here that is we are not getting all about its namespace information so first of all back to this model and let's create all about the namespace of this class so namespace we are currently inside this models folder because we are creating our class inside models folder and this models folder is inside app folder so what i will do app and models so successfully we have created a namespace this is only to told our application that this user model is defined inside this models folder back to controller and simply let's say use models it's not models is app models and inside this models folder we will have user model so simply we have loaded our user model inside this controller now let's use a simplest method to get all the data what we have inside our database table so public function let's get data3 and inside this if we want to means to any type of database operation first of all we need to create a instance and i think that while formatting our code the namespace has been removed or the package itself has been removed so app models this is user model back inside this get data 3 function and simply what i will do user model equal to new and this user model simply we have created the instance of this model now what i will do let's say data equal to user model and we have a method called find all we will discuss all the available methods of this models concept in the next videos simply inside this we had seen that how can we create what are the use of these member variables as well as how can we load inside our controller and we will do a simplest database operation so simply if i write echo pr tag let's say print r and inside this printer if i type data save all these changes go inside this config folder routes.php file and here if i will create a route something let's say list hyphen data hyphen 3 and the method we have called get data 3 copy and paste save copy this route name go here and let's say that all about index.php and this is our route now if i press and here we have unknown column tpl underscore users dot deleted at now here as we can see that we are getting our column error keep in mind this is the column name what we have written inside this model so as we know that behind the scene this model class expects that this user model is going to define these keys inside tpl underscore users table because behind the scene this is the variable what we have added called use soft deletes it is going to use these columns so instead either we can make it as a false value or simply we can make this variable as comment while making this variable as a comment if i go and reload this page our error has gone because this is the variable we are not using and if we are not using this variable then these values are not being used it is not going to search about these entries inside this table go here and as we can see that we have all the data what we have inside our database table so simply guys step by step we had seen that how can we create our model inside codeigniter 4 about its member variables about its values as well as how can we load inside controller and use it in the next videos we will see all about with the database operation called insert update delete and many more in case of in case of select operation 
So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.